and welcome to episode of Mandalorian Superstar Mode. We're back again in Detroit. The Cardinals are two and six. We're seven and zero. Oh. Good news for me because I've just recorded the episode of Tag Wizards six where we had to produce a comeback, in the alternate shot match. So we've this one to be a little bit more chill, a little bit more calm. A nice easy win will do me just fine. That's Levington towering over everybody else. He is six foot ten. Of course, despite being 6'10 and like 280 pounds, he gets knocked out over quite easily, to be fair. But he's a quarterback, and that's how his attributes work. But we win the, the coin toss. We're going to kick off because I, I, I prefer to receive the ball in the second half. So for now, I will see you for our next possession. And that's a touchdown, and the Cardinals. Not wants to give me an easy game here. They took a long drive into the end zone. The kick is good. We're down 7 nothing. There was one pass that they passed back, so it was actually a fumble, but they recovered it, unfortunately. So, Cardinals, despite their record, are going to put up a tough fight here. That full field, at least, from their initial start. Can they keep it up, though? Because we will score a lot of points. Touch wood. Alright. Put everything in carry and agility. Start with a winning play for good old Mr. Jones. Go on, Jones. Oh, nice blocking. That's a good game there. Jones on the run. Our uh, offensive, what, one of our uh, linesmen there, whatever you want to call him, got taken out by the defender, but Jones just ran past him anyway. The defender was so focused getting rid of that uh, art blocker, he didn't even go for the tackle in the end on the uh, actual uh, receiver. I'm going to run. And out of bounds. I thought about passing to the guy right in front of me there because it was calling for it. It was wide open, but I thought I could probably run and get more yardage out of that. First and ten. We'll get the first down. I will scramble if I see the opportunity. I'm not afraid of the run. I went to throw that, but it took so long for the animation to play. I saw the blitz coming, but saw Cumbersome could get open. Waiting for him to get open. Went for the throw, but it was too late. The animation didn't play in time. And we're punished with a long, with a very bad sack. Johnson will set the easy throw. Hey! I'm 270 up pounds. You can't get shut over that easy, Levinson. That was terrible. Look at this. Throws, throws it. Levinson's like, I'll throw my right around here. I'm going to shove in, you know, just blast him, and then it just gets absolutely stonewalled. <laughs> oh, Levinson, what you like. Right, we need a first down here. Oh, don't like this. Johnson, long throw to Johnson. It's caught. It's got block in there. I guess it's the first down. Alright. I'm going to throw it to the left side here. Space on the left. So I'm going to block in there by 76. But in the end, it's back to the line. On the carry, no gain on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Right, run to the right. Some good blocking. Goes to the middle. It's third down, but we're out by the first down marker, so we need to, just need a gain or two. A gain or two. A yard or two. We go for the passing play. Uh oh. Oh, he's missed the catch. Oh, it was open. I tried to get a quick soft throw off, but it's too high for him or something. Oh, I should have had that. I was worried about a blitz there, to be honest. It wasn't really coming, but it was open. It's a poor pass in the end, and we are losing to the Cardinals 7-3. Cardinals looking like they might be able to win this game, but it is only the first quarter, and we have plenty of times where the AI started to strike, but then collapsed in the second half, and we just come back and won it. So we'll see what happens. But for now, I will see you for our next possession. Right, so I'm not sure what happened there. DX Tory crashed, so my screen blacked out, but the commentary was still going on in the game. There was a fumble, so we have now got the ball back. I don't know how the fumble occurred, I know a footage of it, but a fumble occurred, so we got the ball back in their red zone, basically. Thankfully, I saved it after we got the field goal, so I didn't lose much. 
and I was able to get back in the game after the story crashed to save it again, so I didn't lose anything at all. But I don't know what happened. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. It's been a very stressful day for recording so far. I'm going to have to get to Ha Tan and stop for a bit and do the second half sub, brother. It'll be one video, but there'll be a bit of a uh, transition from the first to the second half. It'll be continuous. And we get the fumble and we do nothing with it because we have to run the ball three times and we get, we get nowhere. Should pass on third down, coach. Nixon here, though, much better than Ingram. Put us within a point. There we go. Hopefully, next time we get a touchdown and I start to take control of this game. But for now, I'll see you for our next possession. And that's the fourth down. Vargas is out to punt, and now we have a chance to take the lead. Here we go. They had a strong first drive, but the second and third drives not really up to the task. The second drive cost them three points in the end. The third drive is a three and out, I think. Now we're in position to take the lead. Here we go. Near the halfway line as well. Not a bad uh, situation to be in here. On the 41 yard line. To Culberson. Across the line of scrimmage, across the defence, they can't do anything about it. Cousin catches the ball, it is a first down. I don't like the look of those routes, to be honest, but it worked out in the end. It's the fullback, Taylor catches it. They tried to blitz me there, 60, it was right in my face. But I knew I had a time to make the, make the pass. I was in March towards field goal range. Not quite there just yet. Not miles away. And look for a nice little run from the fullback. There was a gap to the right side there, but he doesn't take it. Teddy goes left. And I think that cost him a first down. It was a per, a, a per decision there from the, from the fullback, I believe. I think if he goes through the gap on the right side of him, he gets a first down out of that. And he'll look to run to the outside. It's going to be a first down. Only just, but it is a first down. On the carry. Gain of four on the play. First and ten. We keep the drive alive. As we end the first quarter, it's a surprise deficit here. I'd buy a point now. End of the first quarter, it's a Cardinals at seven, the Lions at six. Seven, the Lions. Six. The teams are ready for the second There's only to panic. Down by a point. I'm getting the ball in the second half. Just keep playing our game, then not doing too well at the minute. We keep chipping away at this lead, you know, building up that lead once we get it. All will be well with the world. And Jones makes a good run again. The winning game today so far has been pretty effective. Five yard gain on the play. Jones is feasting out there on these yards. On this yardage. I'm going to switch to play. Yeah, that'll do. Some good blocking. Plenty of bodies there to defend for us. The defensive lines, we're going to get through the bodies. That gives Jones a shot gain. And we're going to run to the outside to pick up three yards. Coach clearly believing that their defence against the winning play is put. Had to end up passing too much at the minute. Run to the outside, some good blocking. Stiff arm. He plays it short. He breaks the one tackle. Can't break the second, and he fails the third down conversion by an inch. But the field goal here will give us the lead. 41 yards. Nick, you can do it, mate. Believe in yourself, and good things will happen. There it is. We did overcut there as the quarterback. He wanted to run the ball, the coach wanted to run the ball. We run the ball and punish for just a field goal. But we are taking the lead with it. And a scoring drive is a scoring drive. I will see you for our next possession. And that's a fourth down. They cut a screen on third down, which is always stupid. Now we have a chance for the touchdown to make it a, a two possession game. The field goal leads us as a one possession game. Ooh, he gets taken out there. But we've only thrown five passes so far. I mean, coach not trusting him. So I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure we're five for five. He just didn't catch the ball. It was the right option, I think, what we did when we went for the touchdown. But just to put a pass at the end. 
Nice hole for Jones. That's a few yards out of that. We'll take it. Four yard gain. Nothing to sniff out. That's pretty good. Or three and a half yards. I'm going to keep running the ball. I'm going to try and get a few penalties here. Go. Some good blocking early on. A bit of a gap. I think that's a yard or two out of that. Here we go. We can pass. We can pass. Here we go. You know, I'm one of the best quarterbacks in the game. You, know, you can trust me, coach. Can the tight get open? Can the tight get open? The tight can get open. Ziegler. Caught it. He doesn't have the speed to get to the end zone, but that's a good pass. See? Trust Livingston. I know what I'm doing. I saw that route, I thought t t he's got a good chance of getting open. He gets open, we get the first down. And now in field goal range. But we don't want a field goal. We want to front the play, but we want the touchdown. We need a good block from Taylor, I think. Oh, no, no. Jones changes his run, goes to the middle instead. Doesn't go to the outside, he would have got tackled. Goes to the gap in the middle. Smart play by Jones gets us nine yards. Let's look at our first touchdown of, of the game. Let's go again. Let's have a gap this time, but the first time we'll we'll take it. It's a fresh set of downs to try and get into this end zone for the first time today. Yeah, the Cardinals put up quite quite the fight. To be fair, respect to them. But they're on. Oh, they got sacked there. <laughs> they fumbled the ball. There was, there was a gap there, but I got tackled from behind pretty quickly. Yep. Gonna run, I'm gonna run right into the end zone. Touchdown, I could have passed that if I wanted to, to be honest, but I thought I'd scramble it. Defender there wasn't keeping pace, I don't know why. Maybe they played zonal. Maybe he was just worried about the, the, the pass if he tried to try to get after me. But it's a touchdown. We made us a two possession game. So if we can starve them off the ball here. Starve them off the ball, you know. Get the ball back quickly enough, waste a bit of time, get another, another score in play. We can take control of this game. Cardinals, I think, do need to score next year in this drive. But for now, I will see you for our next possession. And that's an interception. They had a drive going, and it's going all the way to the end zone. It's a pick six. The Cardinals had a drive going there. I thought they were going to score something, but in the end, the defense are too good. It's the interception. It's a pick six. And that's just given us complete control of this game. But for now, we'll see what happens. I will see you for our next position. And that's another interception. The ball's bumbling about there between like three or four people. Uh, I don't know what the quarterback is doing. I, haven't, they look like, I thought it was going to be a pretty close game, to be honest. The offense was playing relatively well. But that's another interception. And they just surrendered control of this game straight to us. And that's what you want to do. You don't beat the Lions by playing that like that. Right, here we go. I think we just start killing some time now because we're getting the ball back, that's the thing. We can afford to take our time. We'll get the penalty. Not far too early. He got baited. We're actually going to go to timeout. We're going to be a ruthless here and get some more points, apparently. Let's do it. They will still be forming. I snapped the ball as they will still be forming. That's a penalty. It's a face mask. They're getting desperate. They're getting desperate. They sense the game is slipping from their grasp. And they're being stupid now. For a quarter, they had that chance. They, they couldn't hold on to it. And they feel the game slipping away slowly but surely. As the Lions now must be marching towards their 8th victory in a row. I don't see how the Cardinals come in from this point. Especially if we get the touchdown. That's what we're going to look to do right now. Field. Oh, that's about pass. Oh. I was there talking trash and then I do that. Oh, well, I just give the Cardinals a chance. I deserve that for talking trash. That was a bad pass. 
It's been a while, I think, since I thought an interception, but I threw one there, and we'll see what happens. For now, I'll see you for our next possession at the end of the half. They call a timeout. They'll have to set off for a field goal. Will my interception lead to points for the Cardinals? Give them their way back into this game. Can Rackers score some points? He can't. Well, they've still got a 13 point lead, but that could be a catalyst for the Cardinals. We'll soon see. Makes the game more interesting, at least. But my hope for a stress free session after what happened in Tag was 06 earlier for me. Which, as, as these two get released, that would have been yesterday. And uh, not happening, potentially. If it does, it'll be like a fourth quarter relief. The third quarter could be make or break for us here in a minute. So I'm going to start to the third quarter with one. Week one, and they come coming back into it. Anything could happen here. But that's going to end the half. At the end of the half. Is the Lions 23, the Cardinals 10. The score is the Lions 23, the Cardinals 10. Right, at the end of the first half, that interception hurts. No touch chance of the quarterback rating, it takes a hit. Completion rate not too bad though. Uh, Jones doing quite well to be fair. Lemmingston getting the touchdown with his own scrambling attempt. No drops. Well, not too many passes because I've not had too many attempts, attempts today, to be fair. Only seven attempts. In 30 over 20 is not too bad, but two interceptions is just, it isn't great. Uh, rushing wise, yeah, they're, they're rushing games that them down a bit, to be honest. And there's their receiving stats. Well, their receiver stats. So I've now got to take a break because my computer needs to be used for something else. So I will see you for the second half, but there will be a bit of a transition. So I will see you for the second half. Well, here we are for the second half. I've loaded back into the game. It's actually the following day, so I'm recording this on the day that's just going up. The previous, the first half I recorded on the day before. So hopefully I'm still with it. We've got a strong lead, but we didn't throw an interception late in the first half, if I remember right. It's just let like the Cardinals get a field goal. So this game isn't quite over just yet. Just gotta keep it calm. One more touchdown, we'll probably be able to end it. Just don't be stupid. Just don't be stupid. Oh, poor defense there. Culberson gets open. Defensive line, uh, the offensive line there giving me some time to allow the play to develop. Cooperson gets open. I didn't see the play, so we're going to play. That's fine. We get the first down. Start the second half and the third quarter. We complete a pass. Good run by Jones. Is that a first down? Or is that just short? Nine yard gain, just short. Running game in the first half was actually quite good, so they can't handle it. So the second half may go the same way. Long high pass, cool. You can't cut. You can't hold on to it. Cannon could hold on to it. And on third and one, we're just going to try and run it through the middle, try and force our way through for an extra yard or two, just to get a fresh set of downs here. And we just get the extra yard. That's what we needed for the first down. Keep it simple. Just get the first down and go again. Okay, I was going to fall for it. Jones is out. Oh, good defence there. Jones was ahead of his defender. If that gets through, he's catching that. But I played it to all those. was able to deflect the pass. So some good defence there from the Cardinals. A higher pass. That might have been a, uh, a reception. If I got it over the defender. But I tried to throw it hard right. Third and eight. That's a good start, actually, for the for the passing game. I'm actually going to flip the play here. I think Johnson can get open with that route. He can get open. That might be a touchdown. I think he blitzed. I think the guy near Johnson blitzed. And that was a bad move. 
Leaves Johnson wide open. That's the one thing you don't do against us. You don't leave Johnson open. Are you stupid? The Feds have played quite well this possession, to be honest. But they just made a bad mistake there. I mean, it's a rookie error. You don't leave Johnson open. I'm going to get a 44-yard touchdown pass as easy as that. And that should give us the uh, the control. They were up by 20 points. So it's a three-possession game. Let's also keep it cool and calm and collected. Let's do this game out. But for now, I will see you for our next this possession. Is lined up for the Reeves, and that's a three and out. Warren on the coverage. And that, I think that is the game now. I think we're up by too much. They needed, they needed to score to keep up with us until we messed up. It's good for me because I'm still covering from the 06 episode with the comeback. And there I've got a terrible punter. Right. It's often our kickers until this season, well, apart from the kickoff, uh, that mess up, but it, they, their special teams aren't great either, so. The punter might just probably cost them a game, to be honest. And the flip the play, because if we're running to the outside, I want more space for the halfback. Through the middle, ooh, good tackle there. Makes contact with the defense, with the offensive linesman. Gets to tackle him, but not enough to stop a three yard gain. Or two and a half. I'm gonna run again. I think we're now in. We're now in kill the clock time, to be honest. We want a field goal here, because in theory it's still a three position game if we get a field goal. We want a touchdown. Because 33, we're up by 23, but if they get uh, three touchdowns with two point conversions, that'll put my head by a point, because I'll get 24 points. So I'll do you, you want a, uh, a touchdown here. Three yard gain on the play. Third and four. Ball on the 14 yard line. The one of those trip that didn't result in a field goal or a touchdown was the interception, I think. And none are pretty good in the red zone, but today we had that one mistake. The Cardinals haven't been good enough to really capitalise. Let's go first. They led the first quarter. They look like the match have a bit of fight to them, but the second quarter we just kind of start to blitz on them and they're falling apart here. That's happens a lot with the AI in this game. I don't know why. You think with the, with the bonding, it would kind of keep up pace with you. Ziegler. Bit of a dodgy pass, but Ziegler has the strength to hold on to the ball. Spot being tackled, I think, in mid-air. That's probably the best result for us. If we can get a touchdown out of this, we're going to kill more time. And kill the game off. Alright, I got my thumbnail. Look at this for now, unless something funny happens. They're going to try and cut out the middle. Number 24, then move forward. That should work for us because we're going to try and run to the outside. And there is a hole there. Oh, but there's so many bodies on the on the line of scrimmage you can't get through. That's annoying. I'm going to flip the play here. It's a quick throw to the outside. You know, to like the outside. Caught by Ziegler. I wasn't sure if Kubus on the left was open or not, but I saw Ziegler open and I took the game. I still got another down. On the two yard line, well, between the one and two yard line, actually. We're going to run to the outside. I'll kill the clock off. I'll try and frustrate the AI. No point in trying to get a penalty here because we're getting, we're getting what? Like half an inch. Something like that. If we, if we get if we, if they, if they get an offside, but the last yard here tends to be the hardest yard. Jones tries to race his way through. He can't fight his way through. He gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. If he breaks the tackle, he gets a touchdown, but he can't do it. I'm going to settle for a field goal, and the Cardinals keep keep the, this three possession game alive. They need a touchdown though, pretty quick. Because we kill a lot of time off with that, 2 minutes 49. If we get another drive like that, there's only like 3 minutes left, left in the game. I just want to have a time to score. We'll see what happens. For now, I will see you for our next possession. That is the end of the third quarter. A defensive penalty to help the Cardinals get within field goal range. But for now, it is the Lions 33, the Cardinals 10. And that's an interception. Nobody got open for the Cardinals. He sends a sack coming. He throws a pass just to someone. And it is caught by the defense. And that is game over.
I thought the Cardinals were going to score, to be honest. They put a good drive together. They were taking their time. They were quite slow, but they were getting downfield. They got saved by defensive pass interference. But it's a bad pass. Good defence there by the, uh, the Lions. No, it's just kill, kill the game off here. With only six minute quarters, once you get a lead like this, in the fourth quarter, you can kill so much time off. Because you can kill like, you know, three minutes off, you kill off half a quarter. It's like 50% of a quarter rather than, you know, a small part of the game. I mean, I had tried to, I, I did one game in season one. I did the playoff, the first playoff game of season one at full length. And never again. I've got 100 points and that's a mad like. Ridiculous. This game isn't balanced for full full length games. I think six minutes, six minutes, but it's fine. But when the player gets to us nowhere, it's fine. We'll just kill more time. Might be a three and a half, but we've killed over a minute. And they do need two-book conversions as well, so. No one takes the bait. No run. That's a fourth down, so three and out. What you don't want is to throw a pass, strangle for the first time when you don't really need it. And then they score. You don't want to give them any momentum. At least let them work for it. So they score from this. It's not the end of the world if it takes them like a good two or three minutes. They just won't have enough time for the rest of it. But for now, I will see you for our next possession. It's a fumble by the quarterback. They don't challenge it. it when it rains, it pours for the, for the Cardinals here. They had another good drive going again, but... It's another mistake, another turnover. And that's really destroyed them here today. If it weren't for the turnovers, this will be a very close game. But that's another turnover. And that's more time we can kill. I think I think we can get to the two minute warning here. We lose the yardage, but we don't really care because we, we just keep the clock ticking. That's all we need to do at this point. We've put in the hard work already. 33 points. Just about seeing the game out. So it's a game that really promised to be quite close, but the Cardinals just making mistakes. They get going, make a mistake, get going, but they make a mistake. I think this probably ends their playoff thoughts, to be honest. Not with a 2 and 7 or 2 and 6. Something like that. Once you get pa past like six losses, you get to like seven losses, you screwed. Because nine wins ain't going to cut it most of the time. Sometimes it does, to be fair, but it is right. So we'll play it to the two minute warning. Bask in the celebration of the crowd they're cheering, just about. They know we've won. The heroes have done the job again. It's not where that we do actually lose. And today ain't one of those days. Rough start, but it ends in another strong win for the Lions. Fullback gets a lot of space. For a second, I thought he might actually get there, but it's just too far. It's an eight-yard gain. The fullback tried his best. That's a good run by the fullback. The defense call a timeout. They're not going to give up, give up on this, but they need a score. Basically, they, they need a one-pass touchdown, effectively, to have a prayer of pulling this off. Fair catch made at the it would be the comeback of all comebacks, but it would also be the, the biggest ball job of, uh, on this YouTube channel if we lose this. Because they would also need turnovers. Because I think if we get the ball back at this point, we can kill a game off. But for now, I will see you for our next possession. And on fourth down, they go for it and play a shot pass. That's well shot the first down, Michael. What were you playing at? Like, going up for it on fourth down in this situation is perfectly fine, but at least throw a pass past the first down, Michael. So they get trusted with the ball again here, the fullback gets another short gain. Gain of two on the play. Second and eight. Coach, they're hoping for a repeat of the last play we had, but not to be. Luck it matters because we're going to kill a game off here, I think. 
Unless, if, if they don't use their timeout, we've got enough time, we've got enough possessions here to, uh, to kill the game off. So I can get this below 40 seconds on the third down. Might as well go now because I'm not going to benefit from any more time here. On the run. Gain of two on the play. I may just need the third down to be below 40 seconds so the, the, the field goal won't have to be taken. So I've been here. Oh, third down conversion today. I haven't actually been, been that good. But uh, it hasn't needed to be today. The Cardinals just uh, not with it. Anytime they get a drive going after the first possession. They just didn't do much with it. Just kept messing up. The ne my next game is against the Vikings. So that should be pretty easy as well. I think the Viking away oh, against the Vikings, we get a first down there, don't we? Yeah, we've got first down. Just to make things even worse. We actually convert on third down. And that's gonna do it. A sample went in the end. I thought maybe the Cardinals might have put up a fight despite the record, but it wasn't to be. I think we go what, seven and now or eight and now? I'm not I'm not sure. They're still unbeaten. The Browns aren't. At the end of the game, it's the Lions 33, the Cardinals 10. Line out, three interceptions, fumble of the ball. Lovers is very happy, me and the breaking the camera once again. The heads just don't make any sense. I know that's a Windows 7 issue or what. I don't know why it does that. There we go, getting that touchdown helping out the quarterback rating a bit, but in terms of the quarterback rating, it wasn't great. The completion rate wasn't 2 by 69, is nice. Uh, rushing. Good play by Joe Zantella today on the rushing. I'm missing it in 3 yards average as well. On the 3 attempts. Including the touchdown. He got our only rushing touchdown of the game. Now, drops apparently, I dispute that. There was one drop in there, surely. Culberson uh, getting 2. Ziggler actually getting 3 passes here. Johnson also getting 3 uh, receptions. Teller getting the one. Also the Cardinals those three interceptions and the fumble as well. Three sacks, just the offensive line was just not great. And Leonard's passing was just uh, inconsistent. I mean, the halfback tried. Average of 4.6 is actually pretty, very good, to be fair. I mean, that offense is actually really strong. A 91 overall quarterback and a 94 overall halfback. But drops, fumbles, interceptions, they just couldn't get a run together. This is actually a much better team than the record suggested to be honest. Look, they got two two uh, 90 plus overall receivers and an 80, 85 overall. I mean, this is, a, this is a good team, I think. Yeah, this is a good team. I don't know why the record's so bad. Explains why they're threatening to actually put up a game for a bit, to be fair. That's, that's a good team. They're just underperforming this season. But for now, that's not my problem because I'm with the Lions. I'm where. That's brilliant as always. For now, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. So let's play Mother Night Superstar Mode. Mm -hmm.